Well, one of the things as I was reflecting back on uh, being here so long, you know, I, w I started at Central before I had any kids. And now I'm leaving Central as my youngest kids just graduated from college. So their whole lives I've been at Central. And so as I was reflecting back, and I even shared this with my kids in an email, um, I miss them. They, they, if they had a day off from school, they would come with me to school. And oftentimes they'd bring friends. So they're in first, second, third, fourth grade, and they'd bring friends. And they would go from, they'd bring rollerblades and basketballs and soccer balls and skateboards. And, um, and I was reminiscing about missing, I'd, I'd be teaching and they'd come and they'd, you know, these little kids and they'd smash their nose on the glass window in the door um, right during class, you know, interrupt my class, which I said, please don't interrupt my class. And they, they needed something, you know, it was something like, you know, more money for a donut or Dutch letter or something like that. It was never really anything urgent, but to little kids, it was urgent. And one story in particular, we'd gotten here, we were not here 10 minutes. And I said to them, now I'm going into class, I can't be interrupted. And um, right then I get a phone call. And they had already run off. And it was about, I guess it was about 10 minutes after I said this. And someone, one of the kids had pushed another kid into the pond. And so here we are, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to think clearly. I'm trying to go into class. And, but again, because of Central, you know, and because I know the system, I could say, okay, go down, talk to Coach Skipper. You know who he is. He'll give you gym clothes. They've got dryers at the gym. They'll dry your clothes. You shoot baskets until your clothes are dry. You know, I mean, it was, it was like my kids grew up here too. You know, football games, we come to a football game, and next thing you know, Al Dorenkamp has thrown them out of the wrestling room. Well, I didn't even know they were in the wrestling room. We were supposed to be at the football game. So when I think of Central, it's not like I, I, I grew up here. I continued to grow up here. And my kids grew up here. And so it, it's a big part of their life, too, in terms of memories. Um, they loved going to the Central Market where you could eat all you want. And they just kept eating and eating and eating. So, you know, Mark Howard got to know them at the Central Market. And so they really um, were fairly well known, always, not always in a good way, necessarily. But when I think of so many memories of Central, they involved my kids. We'd come down to football games. We'd come down to volleyball games. Um, so a very special time in my family's life.